Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is November the 24th. I'm gonna start like saying the dates at the start of my vlogs. Um, well, especially for the next few ones just because I don't have a clue when I'll get a chance to edit them. So these probably won't go up till like a month later or something like that. Um, but anyways, welcome to the first moving vlog. Yes, you heard it right. So we are moving again. Um, I say again, like we've done it loads of times. We've only had like one flat and now we are moving. Um, we literally get our keys a week today and I haven't started packing yet at all. Um, so yeah, that's what today's vlog is going to be. I'm going to be packing. Um, so the reason why I'm in the car is because I've actually messaged someone on Facebook who was like trying to get rid of some cardboard boxes. Um, so I'm going to collect them from them now. It's literally like a half an hour drive away and I was like, oh my gosh, this is quite a long drive just to get some cardboard boxes. Um, so I'm going to like make the most of it and bring Harley with me and take him for a walk there because it's near the beach. Um, so like I'm not just traveling all that way for boxes, although I would to be honest because What's my hair doing? <laughs> I'm a mess today, guys. Um, as I was saying, yeah, I would have travelled all that way for boxes even if I wasn't taking Harley for a walk because nowhere, like, like no one locally to me is getting rid of cardboard boxes, which is so weird because I swear I see them advertised all the time, but now that I need them, no one near me is um, getting rid of them. So I'm having to travel a little bit, but I don't really mind. I need to go to Tesco as well to get some bubble wrap. And yeah, we're just going to have a packing day today. Um, I cannot believe that we literally get our keys in a week, so I've got a lot to do. Um, but yeah i'm looking forward to it i'm actually gonna get a move on um and i'll speak to you guys more later on um but i just want to let you guys know what i was getting up to this morning and why i'm in the car i'm going to get cardboard boxes and yeah welcome to the moving vlogs so i got the moving boxes there's literally a ton of them um when i went into the place it was like this lighting is really bad but the place I went I had never like been to that area before so I had no idea where I was going or like where I was parking so I ended up like parking at a completely different shop because there's a guy that has like a shop um oh my gosh this lighting is awful I'll have to turn this way uh yeah this guy that had a shop and he was just getting rid of all these boxes so I parked at the wrong shop and then I had to walk over and then he came out with like loads of boxes because he only like advertised like a few so I just thought oh, it was like a few boxes but I'm so glad that there's more like I'm really really grateful for that but it was when he brought them out and I was like oh damn I parked so far away and then I was just gonna take them from him and he was like oh no I'll carry them to your car I was like so embarrassed like yeah I've parked about like a mile away <laughs> um so yeah he bless him he helps me carry them to the car and then I was like I don't actually know if these are all gonna fit in my car I have the smallest car ever um but we made them fit and he like flattened them all for me so that was super super helpful so I'm so excited to start packing um just because I, I feel like I have my life more in order just because I've got so much to do so I feel like once I make a start I just feel a lot more better um but anyways this little guy has been super patient and he is ready to go for his walk we've just come to the beach. Harley? Oh, are you grumpy? Because we didn't go straight for a walk. Or are you just sleepy? <laughs> He's so good in the car, guys. He actually just sleeps. He loves the car, which is good because we can take him on all our road trips that we go on. Do you want to go for a walk to the beach? We're here. We're at the beach. Come on. Let's go before I have to pack all day. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. This way. Come on. Good boy. Harley always seems to be better behaved when we're at the beach. Like there's dogs in the distance and he sees them. He gives a wee bark and then he sort of just runs off. I think it's because there's more distractions and stuff. Rather to like when we're just walking on a pavement when there's really not many other distractions apart from people and dogs, which is his triggers. But just look at him. He has the time of his, of his life at the beach. So he can just give a wee bark, which is such an improvement. Hey, come on, Emily, let's go. Oh, I'm tangled. I'm tangled. I got this new little treat pouch from Matalan because our one broke, didn't it? Are you jumping over me and getting sand all over me? Come on then. We may have got a little wet. We were just on our way back from the car, and then she just started pouring down with rain. Look at it. It's mad. So Harley, you're all soaked now. He's got his little um, 
Christmas collar on. I didn't put his matching harness on just because I knew we were going to the beach so I knew it would get wrecked. Um, but who's it from again? I should say on it. The adorable pooch. It's like the elf one. It's so cute. I can't probably show it to you because he's not going to like me probably. But yeah, it's adorable. I need to remember to show you guys the harness. Did you have fun? You're actually so well behaved. I am so proud of you. Well done, Bubs. Right, so I'm gonna drive back to Inverness, put Harley back to my mum's so that I can get on with some packing and hopefully just pack my life up. And then hopefully by the time Michael gets home, he will be impressed by how much I have done. <laughs> Cause like I say, we literally haven't started. I will show you the flat when I get back and just show you what a mess it is. <laughs> so I'm back home now and I quickly just stopped off at Tesco on my way home just to pick up some bubble wrap but I don't think this is going to be enough but if not I can just pop out to get some more or like just ask Michael on his way home from work to get some more. Um, I just didn't realise like how expensive bubble wrap was um, so I was like I'll try one because I don't really have I was gonna say I don't really have that many ornaments, but it's more like plates and stuff, so we probably will need another one. Or even more than that, I'm not too sure to be honest. Um, I already had some parcel tape, I also got a meal deal, so I've ate my chicken and bacon pasta, but I got a Diddy Milk Jewel, so I'm gonna keep that for later. And then of course, to get me through the move, I had to get myself a Diet Coke. So, I've carted in all of the boxes from my car, which took me a good few runs because there's actually so many of them and they're like loads of different sizes as well, which is so good. So yeah, I'm so appreciative of this. So thank you so much to the guy who gave me these boxes. Not that he'll be watching, but I just mean I appreciate when people do things like that, just advertise like things that they just need to get, get rid of um, because it definitely helps other people out. And yeah, I'm just so appreciative of it. Um, so yeah, I'll film loads of time lapses of me packing and stuff like that, but apologies because I probably have like sand all over me from the beach and stuff because Harley's jumping over me, other dogs were jumping over me, but that's a whole other story. Um, I just don't really know where to begin. Um, I've got my tripod out because I thought I'll need that. Um, I think I'll do like a quick overview of the flat and just show you what it's looking like um but basically before we get into the actual packing i just quickly wanted to do like a little recap because i've been getting a lot of questions um from you guys on instagram like asking me why i'm moving um and i have mentioned it like over on my other channel and i think in a few vlogs as well and in some instagram stories but obviously i know not um everyone follows every single one of my moves so you, you probably don't watch every single vlog or every single video or see every single story so i thought i'd quickly just explain it at the start of this vlog just because i know you guys have a lot of questions because as i say a lot of you guys have been asking me why are you leaving this flat like it's absolutely perfect like i don't see the reason why you're leaving um so don't get me wrong this flat is perfect i am aware of that i know how beautiful it is like i have absolutely loved living here for the last year and a bit um so i am really really sad to be leaving but as a lot of you guys know I recently got a dog. I say recently, but I've had him for months now. And ever since we got Harley, well, actually before that, we've been looking for another flat because this flat isn't pet friendly. Um, so we've been looking for another flat for probably half a year now, maybe even more than that because we started looking before we got Harley. And it's taken us this long to get one. So when I say that I am super excited to move, you guys do not even understand because I honestly thought this day would never come. Like, I just... I just honestly didn't think that by the end of this year we would be in another flat so it's amazing to know that come the 1st of December I'm going to be in another flat where I can actually have my dog and yeah it's just onwards and upwards new things good things are coming I'm going to miss this flat like crazy like I said it's amazing like I don't think I'll ever find as perfect a flat as this ever again because you guys know how excited I was when I moved in here. Like I literally cried because it's just so beautiful. I love how neutral it is. I love how modern the kitchen and the bathroom are. Um, so I'm gonna miss a lot about this flat, but you know, circumstances change and we now need a different flat. Um, so I'm just so grateful to have found a landlord that actually accepts pets 
you guys will not believe the struggle that we've had to find this and yeah we actually met our landlord obviously when we viewed the flat and she is the most lovely person ever so I'm really looking forward um, to having her as my landlord because in this flat I've never actually spoken to my landlord or ever met my landlord everything's done through an agency um, so it was actually like different um, and like a nice different to actually get to meet the landlord and she was so lovely and yeah I just appreciate the fact that she is letting a pet move into her house so so much because there is a very small percentage of landlords that l allow that to happen um, which you know I understand to a certain extent but then it's just yeah it's just been difficult but I'm gonna stop rambling now because I have a blooming lot to do like I, as I said I get the keys a week today and we haven't even started so I'll quickly just show you around the flat. To be completely honest I've just been using this bit here as a bit of a dumping ground so if I buy anything I'm literally like there's no point in me putting it away because I'm just gonna have to take it out again to pack it away so I've just been leaving anything that I buy here and then anything I buy online I've been keeping the boxes as well because I'm like oh that'd be handy for moving. Um, I have said to Michael that I'm not gonna touch his Lego because if I break that I will feel so bad. So if he breaks his own Lego, it's his own fault. But if I break it, I would just, oh my God, I don't know what I do. I don't know how he's gonna pack it, especially this one. I was like, we're gonna need a whole box just for this Lego here. Um, so I have said to him that I'm not gonna touch that. And then I probably should turn all the lights on because it is very dark today, like very dull. This cupboard, I think that should be quite easy to start with because that's just all board games that can easily go into a box and I think all of that that's in black bags is literally stuff of the landlords that like she left for us um like that came with the property when we moved in but we had already had like our own lampshades and stuff like that so I just kind of popped that in bags there so that can basically stay and that will all be easy to pack because that's just bedding and then if we go into her bedroom again I think this is the worst room like this is a room that is stressing me out a bit it doesn't look bad from here but for example we have this cardboard box that's literally been part of our furniture for so long because we just don't have enough room anymore and before i get into this i don't want this to come across as like me sounding ungrateful and saying this flat's too small like i don't have enough room because as you guys know i am so grateful um to I found this flat and I love and adore it and you guys know how excited I was um, about getting this flat um, but what I would say is that when I lived alone in this flat it was the perfect amount of storage but I found like since Michael's moved on and we've moved in not moved on moved in and we sort of accumulated more stuff there isn't as much storage as I had previously thought so for example this wardrobe now guys, please don't judge me because it's a mess. Like as you can tell, look at that. And that's not me guys, you, you guys know I'm normally tidy. But this wardrobe has the perfect amount of space for one person. But as you can see, the hanging space, right? Trying to fit two people's clothes in like half a rail is very difficult. It's got loads of folding space, um, but we just need more rail space. So uh, we're really excited about the flat that we'll be moving into next week is that it has a lot of storage and that is one thing that we both really, really wanted um, in our next property. So in the next like flat that we rented, um, so we're really really happy with the amount of storage that this flat has So obviously there's like certain things that this flat doesn't have that we would have liked it to have had But you can't have everything and we have realized that after being on many many viewings We've obviously had to say like oh well, we'll let this slide. I know we wanted this but this property doesn't have that but it has this so yeah, we've kind of had to realise that you can't have everything that you want, so we've had to let a few things slide, like, for example, this new property doesn't have a bath, which I am very gutted about because you guys know I love my bath, but it has so many other good things that it's like, yeah, I'm willing to let that go. And Michael really wanted a garden and it doesn't have a garden, so we're like, we're willing to let that go. But anyways, back to the wardrobe. Oh my gosh, this is going to be such a long video, I'm so sorry guys. Um, <laughs> Back to the wardrobe. I really don't know where to start with this. I think I might leave this till another day, Um, and that's not me avoiding it, but I think this might be a whole separate video because I want to really downsize my wardrobe, and I know I said that before I moved out last time 
deadline but I didn't have time to do it so I think what I'll do today is like pack everything else apart well not everything else I don't know if I'll manage to do that just leave the clothes to last because I'm going to do a whole separate vlog on that I think and I want to like separate it to into piles of what's going to charity what I might like sell on like Depop or Vintage or something and what I'm keeping and I really really this time I mean it I really want to downsize this wardrobe because I was literally looking for my leggings today and I don't wear anything there apart from three pairs of jeans so like all of that can either go to charity or you know I can sell or whatever it'll just go to better use because there's no point in it just sitting there so I really mean it this time and yeah as you can see the floor is that she just there's bags of stuff because we just don't have enough storage anymore like we've had to put our ironing board and stuff in here just because there's just everything goes in here there's just not enough room um but again like I said that's not me complaining I love and adore this flat and it's perfect for one person obviously we're not like cramped in here like two people I'm not saying like oh there's not enough room for us but storage wise um it would be ideal to have more storage the kitchen I think will be very easy because we're actually not taking all of this um because the walls are like a pale yellow color so this blue stuff is just not gonna go um so like all of this I'm not taking so that's very easy and it's gonna be really easy just to like leave a plate out each because we've only got one more week living here and a cup out each or something and then I can just like bubble wrap everything else so I think the kitchen is going to be super easy and then it's time to no it's not time to say goodbye to the bathroom yet I'm gonna miss this bathroom honestly I think what I'm gonna miss the most is the bathroom and the kitchen as you guys know they're just my favorite like honestly I'm kind of getting a bit emotional like because I am gonna miss this flat I genuinely love it with all of my heart and it's like my first flat like my first time moving like my first time away from home like it's just my everything i'm really gonna miss having a bath um like i really really will but you know i have a shower and that's really all you need but i mean it is nice to have the option but it's not the end of the world um so the bathroom again is going to be super easy just to pack all that away again i don't think i'm going to take these with me anyways because the bathroom is like that colour anyways um, so it'll be too much like pinky if I take these so I think I'm going to get new ones like maybe a grey colour or something I'm not sure Michael and I haven't decided yet but really all I have to do in the bathroom is just pack all of this and just leave out the essentials which is literally like our shampoo and like body wash so that's going to be super easy I am also going to really miss the storage in the bathroom um, I'm actually really excited to see the flat again because like I say we only saw it once on our viewing and I can't really remember if there was any storage in the bathroom. I don't think there was so I think I'm gonna have to buy like a storage unit or something so yeah I'm really looking forward to being able to see the uh, new flat again so I can actually see what things we need to buy and like how we're gonna store stuff. But anyways I'm, I'm rambling so much but I'm gonna start off with building some boxes I think that's how I'm gonna start I'm gonna start building some boxes and I'm gonna start in the living room and just like I think what I'll do is I will build some boxes so I know like what sizes I've got and what will fit best and which boxes I'm gonna wrap up all of my ornaments yes I still have my blooming pumpkins out because um I am so excited to decorate for Christmas but I just knew there was no point in me decorating this place for Christmas when well, I didn't know at the time that I was moving, but I just thought, like, we might move before Christmas, so there's no point decorating for Christmas. So um, now that I know that we are definitely moving on the 1st of December, there's definitely no point decorating this place for Christmas and then taking it all down and decorating the new place. So I've just been like, ah, I'll just keep my pumpkins out. I'm going to take a seat, guys, because I'm trying away. So, yeah, it's going to be a chaotic December. <laughs> like, December is chaotic enough as it is already, but... Um, yeah, add all of the moving stuff into the mix. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. And also, <laughs> like, trust it to have in December. Like, I'm so, I'm so excited to move, but trust it to have in December, which is the most expensive month as it is. But now we have to, like, literally juggle the rent of this property and um, the new property for a couple of weeks because obviously you have to give, like, a certain amount of notice to your landlord. Um, so yeah, we basically are paying, like, 
for two properties in December, which is mad. Which is also the good thing, by the way, in case you're wondering why um, we're probably not going to move all in one day. So in case you see me going back and forth to the property after the 1st of December, it's because we'll still have this property for another couple of weeks. Um, so that's kind of like... It's not a good thing because you have to pay for two properties and pay rent for two properties and pay council tax and whatever else um, for two properties. So it's going to be very expensive, but the only, the one good thing, if I'm looking for a good thing, is that it doesn't all have to be done, done in one day. Like, I can still leave, like, leave stuff here and just come back for it, maybe, you know, do the majority on the 1st of December and then come back, like, another night after work and just get some more bits so I can do it bit by bit. Last time I moved, I was just moving out of my family home, so I literally had no belongings, I literally just had, like, my clothes and that was really it and the stuff that was in my bedroom. So this is my first time properly moving where I have, like, my own pots, my own pans, my own plates, my own furniture, like I literally have a whole flat full of stuff whereas before I just had my one bedroom full of things which was mainly just clothes so yeah it's, it's different um, and yeah I just never thought we would be moving so soon like we did plan to stay in this property for a good few years um, but obviously you know things change and we got a dog and yeah we just can't wait to have our little family home and just all be together it's very exciting. I've just finished putting together all the boxes. There is so many of them, it's mad. <laughs> there is loads, guys. Loads and loads. This is definitely gonna be enough. More than enough, I think. But we'll soon find out. Anyways, now we need to find a box I think is a suitable size and start packing up all of these games and DVDs and things like that. And chargers and stuff like that so yeah let the time lapses commence i feel like i should put on some christmas music or something just to get into the christmas spirit alexa play leona lewis one more sleep i think that's what it's called one more sleep by leona lewis <laughs> alexa stop <laughs> this is my favorite christmas song Bam, there's one cupboard done already. I literally just ran out of bubble wrap and I'm not even done with the first room. I don't know why I'm so stingy and I think, oh, I'll just get more if I need it when I just knew that I needed more so I'm still gonna have to pay the same amount. I'm just, I'm so stingy and I know it. You guys don't need to comment it, I already know it. Um, so I'm such an idiot. I'm gonna literally have to nip to the shop because Michael still hasn't done of work until like another five hours so yeah i'm gonna have to go out to the shop and get more i'm such an idiot but anyways i thought i would make a start on michael's desk i know i said that i'm leaving the lego um but i will pretty much do everything else obviously i can't put his computer and stuff or like his keyboard in that way because we were still living here for another week so he's gonna be using that but like his pictures and stuff like that and his books i'm gonna pack away and i've got a little bit of bubble wrap left so i was like I can use that for his um, pictures because it's too big for, I mean too small for the rest of the stuff that I have to do over that side so it will fit his stuff perfectly.
So you know how I said I wasn't going to touch the Lego? I may have started to touch the Lego <laughs> because it was just annoying me. It's the only thing that's left to be done in the living room, obviously other than the furniture. Um, but my dad has been a lifesaver and he's going to move that for me. Um, Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. He's gonna move that for me next week once we get the keys. Um, so yeah, the only thing really left to do is the Lego and then the little bits um, that I need to still... I can't get my words out. Bubble wrap. Yeah, it's just the photos that I've taken down that I just need to bubble wrap. That's really all that's left to do. And then this giant one that needs to be taken down that needs to be bubble wrapped. But then, yeah, I've started on the Lego guys and please don't laugh at me. But I've cling filmed the Lego. <laughs> I literally just googled what's the best way to um, pack Lego when you're moving and the top answer was sell it or get rid of it because it's impossible. So then I had this idea, I was like what happens if I cling film it? I actually don't think it's gonna do much. I think like if it's gonna break, it's gonna break. We're just gonna have to be really careful with it. So I feel like if I pack it carefully and then I just write on the box, Lego, be very careful. Hopefully it will get to our other flat in one piece, but I don't know why I thought cling filming it would do anything, cause it's not like gonna, it's not like glue, it's not gonna keep it together, is it? But yeah, I've just cling filmed the first one. That's our friend set that we did together. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna do these last ones. I think Michael's gonna laugh at me when he sees that I've cling filmed his Lego. So I think next I'm gonna tackle this cupboard just because I don't think it's gonna be too difficult. I just need to put the board games in a box and then put my bedding in a box. The towels I'm gonna leave because we're still gonna need them because like I said, we're still here for another week. Um, my Hoover and things like that I'm still gonna need because I need to like clean the house. But like I said before, that's something that I can come back for because once the house is completely empty, I can then come back and like completely just like clean it, hoover it, um, and then just leave it spotless for whoever else is moving in here, the next tenant to move in. Guys, it literally all fit in perfectly, and I was like, oh, no way, and then I just found another one. Um, I had a look in that cupboard over there, because I was like, I don't think I have any other board games or puzzles in there, um, but I'll just check. And I have one, and it doesn't fit. <laughs> so I kind of have a feeling that I'm gonna run out of boxes soon. I've got like a few big ones left, but I really want to keep them for the kitchen because I feel like that's what I'm really gonna need the boxes for, um, for like pans and stuff like that. Whereas the bedroom, I probably only really need one or two boxes just for my ornaments and like, um, my wall art and stuff like that because the rest of it, like the stuff in the cupboard, shoes and things like that are ready in um, plastic storage boxes. Well, Michael's are, mine aren't actually. But things like shoes and my clothes, like I said, I'm gonna do that in a separate video on a different day because it's gonna take like all day, if not even more. Um, but things like that, I could probably just do what I did um, when I last moved, which was literally keep them all in their hangers and then put like a plastic bag over them just so they don't get dirty or anything in the car. Um, so yeah, I don't really need boxes for that. So I thought I would come through to the bathroom and hopefully manage to fit all of the bathroom stuff in one, maybe two boxes. Um, I do kind of need to do out, well I say do out my makeup, but this is really all the makeup I own. Um, oh actually, tell a lie. <laughs> I've got another bag here, but I think that's pretty good. I mean, I don't even wear makeup, that's the thing. So I probably shouldn't have any, but I've got some really nice palettes in there that I just don't want to throw away because when I occasionally occasionally do wear makeup, I uh, like to use them. So yeah, I feel like I can't throw anything else away. At this point, you guys are probably fed up of time lapses, um, so I'll try not to do too many more. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here because like I said, it is super long. I don't think I'm gonna do too much more tonight um, other than just finish off bubble wrapping some stuff so that I can actually seal the boxes. Um, and I don't think I'll do anything else too major, but if I do, you're not missing out on much. It's literally just time, it would be time lapses of me just 
filling boxes and I think you've seen enough of that today. Um, so yeah, I will do a little overview of what I have done so far. So this is what the living room is currently looking like. I'm very impressed with how much I've managed to get done. So as you can see, all of these boxes at the back are sealed and that's because they are completely done and we will not need into them again. And then this one here is of all the wall art that I just need to finish bubble wrapping and then I can seal that. Um, it does look like it's not gonna fit, but I'm hoping that I can slant these ones and they'll sort of fit in. Um, and then, for example, these two here I've also left open. This one just because it's filled with our electricals. Um, so like I've got loads of chargers and stuff in there so we're definitely gonna need in there again. Um, and then this one here is the bathroom one. I left like the things that I need in the bathroom but I'm not sure what Michael will still need so I don't know if he'll still need some stuff in here so I've just left that one open. I have left like his shampoo and stuff out but I don't really know what else he needs um, so I've just not sealed that one just now. And then yeah I've taken all the cushions off, um, the blankets, like the throws and all that they're all packed away and then that just needs to be taken down. I honestly don't know how we're going to transport that because I remember when I bought that and mum and me tried to get it to th this flat and she trying to get it into the car like it wouldn't fit. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to need bubble wrap or something, but I don't, <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of bubble wrap for that, probably like a whole roll. And then Michael's desk, I hope he'll be happy when he comes home. It is completely done. Um, obviously his keyboard and his mouse and his Alexa still need to go away so I've just left his box here that I packed um, and also I've like wrote on everything so I know where everything's going um, so there's still room in there and that's why I've left it open just so he can add like his gaming controls and stuff like that but he'll still be using that over the next week and then I don't know how to get these shelves down so I'm gonna leave that to Michael um, because we will be taking them with us and yeah that table obviously furniture like I said is gonna be moved by my dad but yeah it's literally so weird to see the walls so empty Looks so weird. Obviously, <laughs> I will be moving my washing, but it's still drying just now. But yeah, so, so weird. And like I said, yeah, I've labelled all the boxes. So I know this is going in the living room. This is for the hall cupboard, bathroom. Yeah, it's so handy. And then if we go through this way, bedroom has been untouched, but that will be in another separate video so is the kitchen like just completely untouched but I'm not sure if I will film the kitchen I might just do that like tomorrow evening after work just make a start on that um because you're not really missing anything exciting it would literally just be me bubble wrapping plates and then putting them in a box so yeah if I do do that if I <laughs> I always think of Chandler Bing whenever I say do do um but yeah whenever I do do that um I will show you what I've done in the next vlog so you won't be missing out on anything and then the bathroom is pretty much done I've just left out our essentials here that we will be using and then this is completely empty obviously I still need to clean everything but like I said I'll be doing that at the very end I'm not taking these things with me I might possibly take that one but not those so they can just stay there for the time being because uh, we'll still be using them and then I've just basically em not emptied this but there was a lot more in it um, but I've just left out like the essentials that I need every single day and I don't know what Michael needs I just left out that I hope that's fine for him but like I said I haven't sealed the box the cardboard box with all the other bathroom stuff in it so if he does need anything else then it's fine it's not a disaster he can just and get it. Sorry if this vlog has felt really rushed. I've just been trying to like get my head down and just get as much done but then I kept like remembering oh a best vlog. I need to vlog this. I should probably do a time lapse. Let me set up my tripod. Um, So apologies if it has felt very rushed. I've just been trying to get as much done as possible. So yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the first moving vlog or packing vlog whatever you want to call them. Um, Thank you so so much for watching. I'm so excited to be moving and I cannot wait to show you guys the new flat and to just get settled in and like enjoy 
our first Christmas in that flat. Um, it'll be really nice and just make it feel cozy and homely and make it our own. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Sorry if it was boring and long and had lots of time lapses, but I won't make it any longer by rambling even more. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.